Okay, mic's on. Bugger check. Just kidding. It's 12 o'clock. Do you know where your mo? No. I don't. I don't know. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's 12 o'clock. Do you know where your merfolk are? I know where mine are. They're swimming in a delectable syrup of Diet Dr. Pepper. What is up, everybody? I'm Mel Master. This is Shabby MTG. We are doing our thing with some Shabby Merfolk Mono Blue t League today. Here's the list, real quick. And, uh,. Here's the Diet Dr. Pepper, just in case you thought I was lying. We had a winning record yesterday with Simic. Uh, a couple changes in the sideboard. I put some Mystical Dispute that I want to try out. We are still running the Borrowers. Three Regery, three Borrower. If you don't really like Borrower and you're not sold on Borrower, you could go back to four Regery and then two of these Borrowers could become Echoing Truths. You could also do something, well, it's, I mean, you could possibly also make those um, Master Waves. I, I think I like... I think I like maybe trying four Curse Catchers to Biomancer, depending on what things start to look like, but let's take a look here. I, I think I added one more Dismember. I guess I'll do this guy. Give me one second here. don't want to play blue white mariner we want to play mono blue League. Here, who's on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mateus, you're always up there. <sighs> so, what's been going on in Magic this week, y'all? Uh, banned and restricted list was updated with no updates. And. That's kind of about it, other than the potential rise of the Paradoxical Outcome deck. We are on the draw. We have a one-lander. I think this is a pretty easy mulligan, right? This is better. We're going to keep and pitch a land. Now, it should be noted, if we play this Curse Catcher... Baron Moore. What the heck is this? Jeez, three force of negation, huh? Well, given that we have force, I think I'm going to just... Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and save the Curse Catcher. Play the Silver Gill Adept. Scavenging news. Okay, I guess this is Jund. Hmm. 
Do we really play the Lord? No, I think I'm gonna try to get a land up here. Oh, I guess we already played our land. Uh, but now we'll be able to have hard cast force. I may have played the Lord if... Okay. Uh, I think this is going to be a force situation. Gosh. So it does look like this is jund. Okay. Hmm. Do we want to... Well... Yeah, I think this is just a pretty easy jam lord. And then attack. And then play a curse catcher. And see what he's got. I don't think I would force anything other than maybe... Ugh, come on now, sir. I mean, there's nothing you can... When they do that, you just have to say, okay, there's... <laughs> Don't ever think you're gonna... When it comes to discard, you know, just let them take it. And lightning bolt. Oh, man. Boy, that sucks. Shitty draw too. That is a shitty draw too. Boy. We're getting jundid here. Mm-hmm. Go for it. I think I'm going to just sack this right here, try to get a merfolk. Fatal push, okay. And scooze. I'd love to draw a brazen borrower here. Feeling major frame drops. That's what somebody else was saying, Tux. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to optimize my... I, I guess it's o, uh, Streamlabs OBS that causes that, right? Aether Vile. All right. What are we really going to get boned by here? Nothing really. He's he's very much on an aggro plan, right? He's probably going to have five. He can nine us next turn. We're just going to cast it. Oh, wait. We haven't attacked yet. I should have attacked right there. Well, maybe not. That might have been right, actually, to play the Curse Catcher. He did have one mana open. Oh, he does have Liliana. But what is that really going to do? He can make us sack a creature. All right. Wow. I sacked a, I sacked a merman. Now you can't protect this. And you're going to smack? Okay. Okay. Aha. I knew there was a Tarmogoyf lurking somewhere here. Uh, Benthic Biomancer. Void 
for a palace in the sky. Um, I guess we're just let me see if I can adjust. Uh, see if I can adjust this. Alright, so this is the old. Tap one, return a Bora to my hand. Yes, and I'll discard it. He discards Inquisition. And he's going to fire this up. Oh, everything, eh? Does this have trample? Uh, no, it's just a... So he's got two big things here. We're going to take nine. We have to dodge a bolt. Let's see here. Uh, we're going to just block one of these. Because it's all... We're just going to try to stay alive. Try to draw some bounce here. Lord of Atlantis is just not gonna get it done is it all right we're gonna have to figure out this frame rate issue all right output streaming where's your settings All right, what do we want to do versus Jund? Take out these Aether Vials. Uh, let's see, what do we want to bring in? Dismember. I guess just Dismember. Um, well, maybe Deprive might be better than Thanks, Tux. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Let me see what I'm outputting at right now. On the the other thing is I'm also recording uh, at the same time. I think uh, in the past I was not doing that, but okay. I would like to play first. Got a three land. All right, we're gonna keep that. Where's the bit rate actually at here? Uh, yeah, I definitely. Okay. Yeah, I'm 1080. Yeah, that could be. So this is a situation where I have to ask if I, let's say I was on the draw and he inquisitions me, would I rather have him take Curse Catcher over any of this other stuff? I would. So let's just counter it. Now we could try to screw him over here. 
or we could just start getting aggressive. I th think the correct play, actually, as much as I want to spreading seas, I think the correct play is to play the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't have to output it at 540 because I think Thoughtsies, okay. Takes the spreading seas, oh yep. I guess maybe I well, I really want to attack with this vault and have a uh, some defense against Liliana, but yeah, I can't I can't actually cast the bar over here. That is interesting, Tex. Um, a five four five. Okay. Um, I don't really have much we can do to stop that. But I would like to draw a card. Jeez. I mean, it's not terrible, but it is terrible. So right now we're looking for is this Lily or Plague Engineer? Okay. Hmm. And our Reachery. Oh, actually, I should have played the. I guess there's not really much I want to, I can adjust uh, on the fly anyway. He wants to activate this. Interesting. Sure. Hello, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, now what happens? Oh, yeah, you, it has death touch, right? So you want to kill the Lord. <laughs> oh, whoops, it's lethal. Sorry, Jundy. I wonder how good Chalice could be over some of this other bullshit. I guess we just have to play a straight up game like that. Just a very fair game. Uh, let me look down in here into some of these other settings. All right, where's 
Where's my output? Yes, yes, yes. Target bitrate 6,000. Yep. Hmm. This is just garbage. And he's going to begin with seven. just seems so horrible to keep, doesn't it? Alright, let's reevaluate this again. We've got double blue for whatever we want to cast. Two creatures that also count as land drops. No way to do this. Okay, so here's the alternative. Here's a hand that looks like this, which I think we have to keep. And then I think we have to drop the lower... Mm. I think we have to drop the Lord. We want to keep. We want to keep things that can help us catch up, and the Lord doesn't particularly do that the way that you know, a bounce spell. Well, people still have pagers. I'm just kidding. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is how bad it is. Let's see what he's tempted to take. I, he could take this, because it's the only thing we can cast right now, but it's not the best card here. Benthic Biomancer. Let's do your thing. Hmm. Karma Goof. You got it. Benthic Biomancer. Do your thing. can't play around that, right? Not in a one, with a one lander like this. Alright, we're just going to call this quits here. That was pretty shitty. I should have, I probably should have just kept that first hand. But really what, it, you know, really what did we have? Inquisition the borrower and then we had a dismember for well actually we couldn't could, couldn't have dismembered the Tarmogoyf. We could have dismembered the plague engineer. Possibly. Hmm. Seems like a reasonable hand to keep on the draw. Double Curse Catcher, Brazen Borrower, Force of Negation, with the Lord. <laughs> with two Lords. Okay. Um, I think we go ahead and do the Lord. Sure. 
always have that damn field of room, don't they? They always have that fool, too. <sighs> All right. How's this going to work out? Probably not good for him. He's going to, what, bounce the Lord? Like, yeah. Or does he get his fives in one turn? I think I'll just put, I'll put this back. This was our board's day before. I'm not really willing to commit any more into a sweeper that I can't counter. This looks like that's what he has. Oh no, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, if he has Jace the Mind Sculptor, I think we're going to. Let's, we'll use the Curse Catcher. I think that's right. It has less value than the Borrower. Strictly based on instant speed, I think. Aether Vial, though it may not be right to play that Aether Vial because we could discard it to a, uh, a Benthic Biomancer. Is this the uh, Detention Sphere? Okay. Oh, you know, actually, no, that's not 100% true. Hmm. Though, you know, the detention sphere, the detention sphere with, like, kind of combined with Brazen Borrower gives us, like, a weird protection against sweepers. Because we could bounce the sphere after a sweeper, get back a creature. I think I will hold on to this island, though. So this, uh, what, what I could potentially be attacking into is a just naked Snapcaster, which I'm fine doing. Get him to five. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, we're going to be able to take this here. Hmm. Come to four. So now we have lethal on board. Uh, he could also have Cryptic Command to tap us down. One, two, three, four. Hmm. So we can't really stop that. Okay. Yeah, he might want to do it right here. Oh, Snapcaster Mage. What? 
Why is he doing this now? On opt? Okay, that means he really doesn't have anything. I do want to use Aether Val's ability. Now we are now we're getting punished for not playing that island if you notice. If we had played that island and not held on to it, then we could have played it right now, right? Then we would have been able to force plus borrower. Which we do not have. So do we just wait another turn? Okay, let's play patiently. Let's play patiently. Yeah, you can't block because you have an island. There's your flashback opt. So strange. <clears throat> Alright, he's gonna path to exile. We're gonna say okay. I think I'm going to try to go for everything on my turn. Hmm. What is this going to be? I guess I can just counter this now. No, no, no. Cast. Or we could just draw another lord. That's a possibility. We'll attack first, tap this, put in this, see if we can get a block in. Okay. And we take a game against blue white control. spreading seas what else could we consider in this matchup here what else could we consider um, graph diggers cage is medium chalice is the same you know you're just looking at I guess Chalice is a little better because on one it stops, you know, the path and the opt. But, you know, you don't really, 
want to replace any of these good things for it. Maybe Aether Vial, but Aether Vial is so important against sweepers that we're going to call this minus four spreading seas and plus two dispute plus two. Okay. There's a dispute. I love that it has a merfolk on it too. Two new cards in hand at the moment. What are we going to be able to do with them? Mm -hmm. So depending on what he does, in, he's going to miracle us, huh? Interesting. Do they actually want to... They do. They're going to Terminus right here. That's crazy. Okay. I love it, though. I love they get... I love their popping Terminuses at end of turn. That's some cool shit. That was a good draw. Waterlog Grove. Here's another Biomancer. Mana Leak on a Benthic Biomancer. Really? Wow. Wow. Why? I don't even understand why Mana Leak would still be in there. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll try this one here. Gonna reveal Rejury. Ooh, now that was a strong draw. Very strong. Snapcaster Maze. Okay, Mystical Dispute, do your worst. Woo! No creature for you, no opt for you, and no Jace for you! Who are we going to exile here? One trickster. Mm hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. I can fire up. Get in. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What is happening on my phone? Stephen A. Smith was just fired from ESPN for talking about China. Interesting. Didn't they have a thing where they wouldn't kick somebody off? Just making sure there's no text message, anti-Chinese text messages on my phone for when our new overlords, I mean, our benevolent leaders. Hmm. When our new benevolent leaders take over, shoot, they maybe already have taken over now. Damn. Uh. 
let's see what we want to do here. Let's just try to jam this thing right here. He's got... He could Snapcaster opt again. Doesn't really... Well, if he... I don't know. I guess if... Can we get a Sweeper? Does he play a Sweeper? This is just another Jace. This is another Jace. All right. Did a draw three. I think I think we might I think we might be ignoring the Jace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can't crack that. Okay. Uh, hold on. Maximum rock and roll. All creatures attack. Not Jace. Okay. So he didn't put a terminus on top, that's for sure. got for us. And so we've got to play around cryptic command, right? Oh, this will be good. This will be real good. Okay, uh, the let's see. Yep, so this curse catcher actually will let us mess with his mana a little bit. It'll tap down one and require that he that he have an extra mana for whatever he wants to do. Did he see it? Did he see what I did to him? Did I see? Did he see? He saw what I did to him. Will he do it? Come on, I set this up for pure comedy. Yeah, oh, come on. I wanted him to crack the delta and then lose. Damn. <sighs> okay. So we won on the turn. Oops. We were 2 against John. Um, hmm. Okay, let's go for game 8 in this. Let's get to the next game. Let me see if there's something I can do here. <clears throat> if anybody out there in YouTube land, which is really where, what I'm focusing these videos for, you know, I mean, but I'm trying to really make sure my stream is at least watchable. Yeah, that's recording. Did you say something magic online? You said I get to play first with two benthic biomancers. Ooh, we're keep we're keeping this. We're keeping this. Now, if those were both curse catchers, I would probably not keep.
sorry. Holy moly. What's well, everybody's opinion, even if there's like, you know, one or two people? Watch this. I don't care. Though I, I am wearing a I'm wearing the Raiders jersey today. are going to be our optimal uh, play here. I think we'll just say Island Go. Use the Biomancer. Remember, if they kill the creature before the plus one plus one counter is placed on the Benthic Biomancer, you do not get the, the loot. AKA draw discard. If you're new to magic, looting means draw a card then discard a card because Merfolk Looter was the first card to give that effect and now yeah sometimes like you just got a naked snapcaster that would be fun. Hmm. Alright. Merfolk. We'll play our second Biomancer. Say go. Hieroglyphic Illumination. Okay. So it looks like another uh control deck blue white control Azurius control <laughs> hmm yes yes indeed um, do we try to bait something here I would like to get a spreading seas on this howling a how hallowed fountain I almost said howling mine So let's see if we can make that happen. Good draw. I would have rather discarded that than the land though. I think four is fair for this turn. He does have a naked snapcaster mage, doesn't he? Yeah, let's do this. Desperation mode. So... I guess we'll do this. Take away his white. Ooh, is he going to force this? Mm -hmm. That would be pretty insane. He's thinking about it. Okay, so I'm guessing he has force. it is it's actually done a pretty good job of staying in there okay chase the mind sculptor yeah mm -hmm. 
Oh my. Okay, I gotta turn this off. We could have considered force, but why bother? Another spreading seed. I don't think we can. I don't think we can do that just yet. We can kill a Jace. Now let's see if he has a Terminus. He does. Okay. Is he going to cast it? We're going to force it with this thing here. Way better to use force on a, a, a sweeper. Ooh, but. But now we're sad. Could have put a two terminuses on top, maybe. Who knows? All right, what's the math looking like here? Four, five, six, seven, five. He's at nine, and then that's three hits of a borrower. What else can he do here? If he commits a snap caster on this attack, then I'll then I'll put the master in because he doesn't have doesn't have anything. So it's ten next turn on a. Oh, is this going to be a hard cast terminus? <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Now what do we do? I guess we just play out our hand. Is there anything we could draw off of Waterlog Grove that would change our attack here? No. So incidentally, I did see good old M. Hayashi running four four uh, Vendillion clicks in his sideboard. And I'm like, what the heck is that? Vendillion click is super good against Terminus since the card, when they reveal this for the miracle trigger, the card is in their hand. Path to Exile? Okay. So he drew a path. Ooh, that's exactly exactly what we wanted. Okay, he does have the colonnade up though. And it should be noted that he's got double field of <clears throat> Hmm. What does this cost to fire up? Three and a blue and one. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So he's got that. And this is target non land permanent, so that doesn't do anything. Hmm. So if we play this vault now, he just field runes it and then goes on his turn. So. I don't even think I'm going to play this vault, and I don't think I'm going to attack. This is what's going to happen. Okay. Sounds good. This. Uh, 
too bad I didn't have two of those. And he's got all the lands in the dang world. Um, I think we still have to be patient. There's not really anything we're doing here. Jeez. Man, imagine if Petty Theft could target any non land permanent. Mm -hmm. Mismatched odds. Another field of ruin, huh? All right, we'll see what happens here. No, you can't take it down, bro. But yeah, the cryptic draw. Oh, what? what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Oh, maybe this is a. Uh, Yeah, logic not. No, I'm not gonna pay. There we go. I'm gonna say no. Hmm. We're just gonna play patiently here. Our opponent is is not doing anything. They have no cards in hand. They have an active colonnade. They have. A field of ruin. I'm not going to do anything yet. I am going to put this up to three so we can get this in. Oh, there's a card I like. Okay. So the idea here is that I want to. I'd like it if he did some sort of a removal spell I could counter right here and then untap. No, he didn't do that. All right, now we need to draw Merfolk. Uh, any Merfolk should win it, right? Oh, a Spreading Seas could, could also do something here for us. This is what's shutting us down right here. Two blue, one colorless, force of negation. Well, we're gonna counter back with our own force of negation. And then we're gonna see what happens. See, the, you've already lost the fight if you have to take the colonnade down. You know what I mean? So it's like, if you have another counter spell, what good does that accomplish? And you just, you're going to take, you're at four, and you're going to take five. An anticlimactic ending, to be sure. The, the other game where I tried to force him to shock himself was way better than whatever this muddled. Okay, so he has cryptic. Okay, so actually it's not over. It's not over, folks. <sighs> oh, 
don't we like that one? Now we can do what we wanted to do last time, which is just cast this and tap that down. Yes. Okay, good game. Another blue white control. That was a one on the play. And that was a one on the draw. Two O. Oh. Let's see, what did we do? Feels good, man. I mean, that's all I can really say, right? Oh, wait. That was only game one. Okay, well, uh, what did we do last time? We brought in Deprive, we brought in Mystical Dispute, and we took out Spreading Seas. And I think we're going to call that good. Gonna get, I guess. Maybe if one of these was a vault. It may be correct to play the Benthic Biomancer there, but we're gonna since we're gonna be able to get like two things out if we, with this file at the same time. Well, actually, yeah, we might actually get it out quicker. right to actually biomancer and then try to adapt it to ferry the time raveler um, so if I let this resolve I can't trickster right so we'll put the trickster in He might just be buying himself a turn here. I feel like this one's not really one we need to force unless it's really going to cause us to... Oh, he wants that gone? Okay, well, you know, we'll just recycle it to the Biomancer. That, this helps us so much. Like, I don't understand. Like, what doesn't he like here? Like, <laughs> uh, hmm. Maybe we do replay the vial, actually, instead of cycling it.
Let's think about this here. Gotta play patiently in this matchup. You gotta just be very patient. Another Teferi. Timely reinforcements. Ooh, that's a good one. And I think we'll force it. And we'll actually use a Lord. I guess this just looks like attack for three. Hold up the force. Yeah, he got you an opt. Terminus. Mm-hmm. Cast your terminus. Okay, we'll cast force of negation on it. Okay, his white's down. Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, that's good. Puts it back on top, right? Oh wait, ah, force of negation exiles it. <laughs> what is he gonna do? He's gonna put Ah back on top for real. Okay. Jazz. Okay, Jazz. We've got one turn to kill Jazz. Dr. Pepper. Gonna make that our logo instead of this ghost in the shell. <coughs> Laughing man. Okay, so hello. You gotta put two back. So, interestingly enough, you can kind of brainstorm lock yourself here, right? He puts those two back. We know he has one opt. I'm gonna hold it up. I think we're just gonna do that. Another good card. Chase, your mind, Chase. Your mind. Your mind, Chase. Stony silence. 
Okay. So we go adapt in. This card is so medium versus us. So I guess if you're blue, white, you kind of have to have it to play a fairer game on the opponent's turn. You know, something like this. But now I can, like, yeah, spell snare. Snapcaster Meiji. Uh, and uh, now let's deprive that. Like how I baited out the spell snare <laughs> right there. Funny enough, nine is greater than eight. Yeah, so what you got? <laughs> you know, what? Which he is? Oh no, he's not. Untap that! Untap that! Untap that white! You need it. Wow, what a freaking draw. If that was dismem if that was uh deprive, it would not be doing what we may want it to be doing. Though granted, mystical dispute does not uh counter uh path to exile. However, one thing it does counter is um is circular logic. And I love that it has a freaking merfolk on it. I need like a full art foil one of these. Boink. Eh, eh, eh. He could probably path it, right? Attack all creatures to him. Got there. in the queue here so we did indeed win on the draw 2-0 good man Ooh. I do not like this hand at all so we're going to mulligan it. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe read your... No. I think it actually has to be the vault. Or does it? Shit. Ain't this a bitch. Maybe it's the spreading seas. I'm going to go with Muta Vault and we'll think about that later. You know, like if we're up against something like Burn, obviously it's like terrible. But it, you know, if it was, it does look like Burn. <laughs> it is fucking Burn. It is fucking burn. Give me an island. Fucking merfolk trickster.
have there not? Yeah, we win in this one. Definitely not. I'm gonna just fuck around with him here. Hey, at least there's no pain on that one. Maybe he has all multicolor cards. No. Mm, come on. It's a lot. Come on. Okay, we're going to concede this game. What do we have against Burn here? We have Chalice of the Void. And what's not good against them? Faster stuff, or slower stuff like Regery. Brazen Bar is probably pretty bad. What does that leave us in for? Deprive. Four Chalice, two Deprive for three Borrower, three Regery. That's how I cited. Against Burn. I'll keep. those cavernous souls in here at the last minute like I was talking about <laughs> or else we could counter our own thing here I don't know I'm sure that's not doing much well, that was a good draw right there but I think we just have to start taking the pain always you Next turn, we can have a Vault plus Muni Vault. A Searing Blood, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a Searing Blood, alright. And we're just gonna. I'm yeah, gonna take three. Uh huh. Gonna block. What are we doing yet? Yeah, we block. You gotta. You gotta preserve your life. Draw. Eight, seven, six, okay. Jeez, now we finally slowed him down. going to Helix and Prowess. We're going to force that. Have to do that. Blockers. Okay, we got rid of one. Chalice of the Void on two and we have to go to two to make that happen. So that means we have to block that. Holy shit, should I do it? It will drop us to two. But it shuts off almost everything else in his deck. Uh, it doesn't shut off a hard cast or uh, suspended 
uh, lightning rift. That's what his out is. Which it looks like you might have. Skewer the critics. Yeah. Okay, we just got totally raped by burn. With no chance whatsoever. I think that's the first time we played against burn in this league. It does not seem like a very... I mean, I know everybody likes to play it, so we just lost both of those. No, I think we were actually on the play. Yeah, it does not feel good to have lands that deal you damage against burn. Matchmaking failed. Okay. All right, well, we got to get this one to uh, come out on top. These are redraws, and this is a creature. So let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna keep flooded strand again. Okay, this seems like a good deck against flooded strand. Dot deck. He wants to force an negation. Awesome. That's one of the best possible things that we could have seen right there. What did he take? Opt. Oh, I love it. Hmm. Okay, so looks like it's not Azorius, but maybe Grixis. Benthic Biomancer is good draw. Also, turn this island into something else. What the hell is that? Each player draws a card, then discards a card. Oh, okay. So they're going to put out an R set or something. This must be Mill. All right. Oh, no, it's a fairy. Okay. Yep. I wonder if we even try to kill this guy. Biomancer. Okay. We'll just keep on keeping on. Got the benthic. Spreading seas could be good. Take out this stupid guy. What they do is they play Narset, so you can only draw one card per turn. So they wait until your turn. You draw your card, then each player draws a card, discards a card. You don't get your draw. Okay. Strange. Strange. He's just blasting everything. See if we can kill this Teferi here. Okay, 
Mary. To fairy goes bye bye. Then we'll play another vault, and then we'll play this trickster that he bounced. We'll reveal Benthic Biomancer. So what are we seeing here? It's important when you're up against a deck you don't really necessarily know what they're trying to do is to just... Okay, we got one black, one white, and one colorless. Each opponent sacrifices a creature and then they gain four life. Okay. Another spreading seas. So I think we're going to see what happens when we go crazy with spreading seas. First thing we'll do is come over here on this one. lands can be eaten by Biomancer. Assuming he doesn't just start blasting us. Okay. We got a Jace. Oh, Narset. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take a look at the top card. What's he got? Like, we knew there was Narset, right? What did they reveal? What? They didn't reveal anything. That's sure strange. Hmm. Let's think about this here. I don't know if I've already played. How can I play and kill that and still keep up an activation? Well, they conceded. Cryptic force. I mean, cryptic force is good. Okay, deprive and mystical dispute seem good. Uh, what else are they trying to do? They're trying to use that weird land against me, but... What the heck is that? Damn hillbillies. hillbillies. Okay, live scene here. Let's see. Spreading seas. Yeah, they did seem okay. Let's see here. Borrower seems good. Yeah, I guess maybe we just try to win like that. Like Forget the spreading seas, forget messing with them. Though they are a very slow deck. Oh, now that looks like UPS or something coming too. Okay. Keep. I wonder if they have discard also. Force it. Ah. Love him to have. Uh, he started the game with six cards. Okay. Okay, okay, opponent. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cast a silver gill adept, and I'm going to show you the curse catcher. Do you wanna crack this? 
opponent. No, you don't. He does want to crack it. But we can consider letting that actually resolve. Let's see. Nah, I think given all these planeswalkers and stuff. Here's the curse catcher. Here's the curse it's gonna catch. Remember when curse catcher was ten bucks? Ah, okay, well we got our money back. We got our money back. Yes, we did. Uh, okay, that was quick, that was fast. Let's make sure we update here. See, it smoked, no chance with this build. We gotta figure that out. So this was blue, ah, uh, this was Grixis Nar Narset. Two T's. It was a one on the play, a one. The trial. Tim the pony. All right. Okay. What's in our booster today? I will be right back. Uh, let's see, this took an hour and a half. All right. Should we open this stupid thing? What the hell did we get? Five play points and Emperor. Vaginas, Emperor Vanguard. There it was. Emperor's Vanguard. Can you sell those chest things? Are they like worth anything? Will someone give you like one ticket for them or something? Hmm. Alright, well let's do a little uh, debriefing here. Mystical Dispute was awesome. I felt it was really strong. Um, we didn't need Graft Digger's Cage. Chalice was useless against Burn. Though I'm sure it was doing something. Um, Dismember. When did we bring in Dismember? We brought in Dismember against Jund. It didn't really help us there. Really, Jund is the deck you want stuff like the merfolk uh, or the uh, harbinger of tides so we're gonna take a look here uh, maybe we'll run another one but if you are watching on YouTube and you've made it this far I appreciate it and thank you uh, if you have any weird merfolk deck that you just want recorded and put up on YouTube Hit me up on uh, Twitch or hit me at uh, shabbymtg at gmail.com. Other than that, if you're watching on YouTube, twitch.tv slash mill underscore master is where we're doing this. And hopefully next time, for those that were having a little jitters, we're going to fix that. So uh, this is Mill Master, and peace out.